Today's a big day for me. I finally moved into my new apartment, sort of. I still get to move in officially next week, but today I get to move in most of my stuff. So I just wanted to show you what the apartment looks like and just kind of give you an idea or a vibe of what I want to do and uh, how big the space is. All right, so first off, of course, we have the front door. Wow. So it's a door. In Japan, you have to take off your shoes right before you come in, of course. Up here, we got a nice big shoe closet, coat closet, so all that can kind of stay in here. Super great. Comes into the living room down here, and here is a desk that needs to go upstairs, futon in the box. You'd think that there would be an amp, it's just nothing. Here's my acoustic guitar, a little shirt. This is about half my stuff. I'm gonna come back on Saturday and bring the rest. All right, so the most interesting part about the house, it's a little awkward, but it's just this living room space. It's definitely a little longer than wide. And so it just comes in right through the door, of course, and then it goes right into the kitchen over here. I'm excited about this. Fridge is gonna go right here. Got an outlet right here. Nice sink, good area to actually do something with. Um, I need to buy a small burner set to go right here. That way I can cook. I really want to learn how to cook and I really should. So I'm gonna do it. Right here is the main bathroom. We have sink, mirror, all that kind of stuff right here. Bathroom, tub and shower right here. I apologize for the darkness. I do not have the electricity on yet. Next up, small toilet down here. Pink, pretty cute, nice. Um, I'm gonna do a bidet, put a bidet in here. Gonna live my best life, it's gonna be great. So yeah, that's the downstairs. Let's take a look at the upstairs. And just to take a look up the staircase, looks like it goes on forever. But, just super steep, nothing too crazy though. I love the look down. There's probably gonna be a day where I fall, of course. So this room's got a lot of sunlight, which is great. This is the first bedroom. And over here, I'm just gonna put the futon, do all that kind of stuff. The best part, of course, is just walking into this next room. And this is where I'm gonna start doing most of my YouTube videos. A lot of light, windows, in a corner over here. The plan is to put the amp over here. And just figure out some sound dampening, dampening way to do that. And then over in this side, it's gonna be the desk and just kind of have all that ready to go. We have this kind of side closet thing. There's another restroom back here, which is awesome. Small space, but you put the washer right here and then there's kind of like this little cove right over here that I could put whatever I want into it. And I'm just so excited about, about this room and just how much bigger it is and just what I'm gonna be able to do with the space and just have more. <laughs> because if you saw my last video, it is, there's, there's barely any space at all. So, super excited. As far as storage goes, all over the house, there's these huge sliding doors. And even up, up on top, it's the same deal. And I really don't have that much stuff. So, uh, it's just gonna stay empty for the most part. But it's cool to have the option if I want. But the best part about Japan is that I feel so tall. I gotta, I mean, of course my hair. My hair's always the tallest part, but you know, it almost hits my head. I feel so tall. That's why I wanted to come to Japan, nothing else. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like with almost nothing in it. And then uh, I'm gonna start piecing it together today, start setting things up, and then next week will be the final move-in. See you. Measuring this table. I just need to work on getting it through the stairwell. I just don't even wanna take it apart. And this thing's really heavy. Let's see. Yeah, that's for sure not gonna work. So, let's take it apart.
I just wanted to show the updates that I've had. I've been here for about two days now and just slowly putting together the apartment. So I wanted to show you what I did different. Essentially nothing. I did get internet today, so I'm stoked. Let's go. Other than that, I have these sound panels that I'm gonna put upstairs behind the amp. That'll definitely help with some like low end buildup that I'm hearing. Got all my stuff in there, toothbrush, all that kind of stuff, and that's it. But let's head upstairs, because that's where I did the most work. And I think it looks great, so let's take a look. Here's the bedroom right as you come up the stairs. Same, just the futon, nothing crazy. I got these curtains as well that are all soundproofing. Super cheap, but they're actually like good quality. So I was excited about it. This is one of my favorite parts. My coworker got me a stuffed animal that looks a lot like my dog Dexter. So it was very sweet, very kind, and kind of makes it feel just a little more like home. So, I mean, this is just a normal small bedroom, like wood linoleum floor, wood ceiling, has a bunch of storage. Once again, this right here, and as well as up top. And I mean, my favorite part, of course, is the main room. Over here, we'll start with the desk. I got the light up top, camera stand, acoustic guitar tucked away underneath, interface, all the power kind of just coming out of this one jack on the wall. I got the mic cable running along the wall, along the carpet here, so it looks pretty nice as well. And then we have this little nook and cranny for my guitar and amp, which I love. And this is where I'm gonna put the sound panels. I'm gonna put them all around the back side and I should be able to stack them up two levels. So that should get rid of some low end frequencies happening. So when I'm playing, I'm actually going to close the curtains and that really does get a lot, a rid of a lot of the reverb that's already happening. So as I'm talking right now, I am trying a new mic by the way, which is cool. So let me know if you think it sounds great, but there is just a little reverberation off the ceiling, but I don't notice that at all whenever all the blinds are shut as well as blinds right behind the desk. It's a cool little spot. I'm super excited about it. I will say that something that I'm not used to in Japan is the power situation. So a lot of the jacks here don't have a ground. It's just not what they, I don't know. I just don't know why, but that's just how they do their electricity in Japan. So, and this is an older house. This house is about 40 years old and it's in good condition, of course, but I assume that the electricity hasn't really been updated unless there's been any issues or anything like that. With that, of course, whenever you run amps and pedals, you're gonna run into a lot of noise. That's just the way it is. If I go and play at a bar in Japan, I assume it's gonna be the same power situation. So might as well just get used to it. And this room hasn't really changed at all. This is kind of the side room going to the back bathroom. It's just all the figures. So I finally stacked them up nice. Probably honestly won't use this space that much other than maybe some odds and ends storage. Let me show you what the shot for YouTube is gonna look like. So this is it right here. I'm excited. I love open spaces. So my favorite part is just kind of the view down the hallway. It looks really big. It makes it look like a really big space. I mean, it's the lens doing the work. And honestly, this room is probably more of a small to medium sized room. And just having the angle of the amp and the guitar over here back in the corner is really nice. I thought the space was weird when I first walked into it. I'm like, why? Why is that like that? But it's actually really nice to have it so far out of the way to where it's not in the normal space where I'd even be walking. So it's just perfect for me, it worked out. I'm just excited to shoot videos and be in a space where I can keep it clean. Play a lot louder, which is awesome with the use of the curtains and just being a separated house to where I don't actually share a wall with anybody makes me feel a lot better and less self-conscious. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna piss anybody off and be noisy. I don't wanna be that neighbor. So this is a really cool change. I'm excited about it. Yeah, just thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about maybe what the apartment process looks like in Japan, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them if I can. Other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.